Welcome back everybody to Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature, typically down at Hallover Inlet, but today we are visiting Boca, and it is a rough one. We've got 15 mile an hour winds right now, and it's going to be interesting to see how our competitors fare as they step in the ring and try and do battle with the inlet, and here we go with round one. And our crew looks pretty solid, but we do have a bow rider up in the front of the boat, a risky move on a rough day like today. She's hanging on pretty solid, but Cap is taking it easy, but definitely not a spot I'd like to be sitting in on a day like today as we're trying to work our way out of Boca Inlet. I'm curious to see where this crew is going though. They've got the whole family in the boat, which tells me they're likely not going out for a day of fishing, which means if they got a destination in mind, I'm not sure if today's the day to try and make it to that destination. And it looks like they're gonna slightly turn north or Yep, we're going to see the Boca U-turn, and this crew is going to decide it's not worth it today, bring it back in, and take a loss for the boats. And that'll bring us to the second round. Let's see if the boats can make a comeback, and none other than the Blue Top Legend girls themselves are going to work their way into Boca Inlet. As we can tell, they are rolling at a pretty solid pace, keeping the bow high, and just cutting through these waves. The girls are known for having a good time out there. Let's see how they fare as they try and work their little Boston Whaler right into the mouth of Boca. It is definitely a rough day as we can see the girls get a little bit of air as they come over the top of the waves, but we can see all the white caps in the background just letting you know how this wind is kicking up. When we first got out here today, the wind was blowing about 15. Right now, it's probably kicked up to 18 to 20 miles an hour, but they are calling for it to really turn up this afternoon, and we're supposed to see some seas upwards of five foot with winds exceeding 25 miles an hour with some of the afternoon storms that are supposed to roll in. Now it looks like the girls are on final approach. They got the throttle pinned on this one, letting the little whaler blast its way toward the mouth of the inlet. This boat is handling it incredibly, especially with the heavy chop we've got right now. Seas aren't huge yet, but the chop is pretty strong, which can easily throw people off their game as they're making their way in. But it looks like the girls are not going to have any issues whatsoever and take a win for the boat here in the second round. This will bring us to the third round of our contest, tied at one apiece, but unfortunately for the boat, things have really turned. Here you're gonna see it. This wind has now kicked up over 25 miles an hour, and man, these seas have absolutely turned. We've got breakers off in the distance. Those white caps are out there as well. I can't imagine this crew's heading out, but they come in, make the turn, see the breakers, quickly decide this is not for us. Bring the U-turn around and they're gonna run it right back into the inlet. But you can see that breaking wave right behind them. Probably a good call at this point. And unfortunately, the boats are gonna take a loss here in the third round. But let's see if the boats can make a comeback in the fourth round. But I got a feeling if these weather conditions hold out, that's not gonna happen. And here we go, fourth round. Boats down two to one. And this doesn't look good still. A small boat, wind is kicking. I can't imagine there's any way that these crews are really gonna make it out. They kind of come out, they're taking a look, and once again, you can see those breakers in the background, and you know that's just a bad day. If you're pulling out a boat and you see that, you probably should just do exactly like this crew, turn it around, and call it a day. And unfortunately, this crew's gonna take his loss as well, which means the boats are gonna go down three to one, and the boats are gonna take the loss, and Boca Inlet is going to win this day. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Boats vs. Hallover. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we got the Miami Boat Ramps channel that focuses on all the hilarity that happens at the boat ramps down in South Florida. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.